Hello, my good friends. I got to, uh, this is going to be scripted. It is good. It's going to be a mixed bag as, as usual. Um, <clears throat> and good timing too because there's a raccoon out there eating. I feed him uh, cat food. Plus um, this stuff here. Uh, peanut butter on crackers. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I got raccoons, skunks, birds, squirrels, rats. There are rats over there. Anyway, uh, okay. Starting off with a always a popular place on this on this planet. Um, well, not not the golfers' <laughs> least favorite. Uh, that would be China. Um, currently, they still have two Canuck hostages over there. Two of them been there. Oh, they've been a long, long time. Three over three months, three or four months, a long time. So I saw the, uh, you know, I'm at, I'm at the gym, still, oh, and check it out. Uh, well, I got muscle now. Uh, uh, two years ago, no, I didn't have any muscle. The bone and skin, ain't, oh, bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, at the gym, um, they're, uh, they got the news on, right? And uh, so they got the prime minister, the drug dealer, the prime minister, and, um, Got him talking to um, the Secretary General uh, from the U.S. And I'm like, um, yeah, okay, they're talking about the two hostages. And I'm like, don't be getting, they're not going to do anything, nothing. Trump, really? Trump doesn't do anything for anybody, nobody, only himself. I feel bad for America. If he's in there, the next election, I... I'm I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna feel pity, and uh, not for the people that voted for him, for for the people who didn't. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. So um, here's what you do with China. The companies that are over there, okay, they're both to. Well, actually, they're not gonna really lose money because they're gonna get it out of the cons consumer here. Um, so whatever your item that was like 400 and well now it's like 500 because China wants a piece of that action. Well, see, you're going to have to do the same to them. It's tit for tat, you know? Well, see, my, my job is there. You remember my job from Chariot? <laughs> Mine and two others, 200 others. Okay, you, you pack up and see, there's other countries, there's... All of Malaysia, you have Vietnam, Thailand, <laughs> tons of you don't need them. Why does everybody keep sending it to them? You may lose your stuff because, you know, technically, <laughs> it's still communist. They can say, no, we're going to keep your stuff. You leave, you're, you're not taking your stuff with you, you just leave. Fine. Um, you want to take the place? Take it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be crying crocodile tears, okay? Uh, okay, um, so I'm taking a break from watching movies. I just finished um, Tom Horn with uh, Steve, well, one of my favorite actors, Steve McQueen. Uh, oh, he's done so much good stuff. Um, I'm halfway done this uh, spaghetti western. Uh, okay, it's in Italian. I, I don't know what the name is. The English, I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, the uh, Lot of Max. They showed the six million dollar winner in Richmond, which is over there. He's like eighty. I'm like, he's not gonna be around long enough to enjoy this, you know. They they call it a curse anyway. Every time you win a bunch of bunch of money like that, they something bad happens. Well, he's eighty, so you're not gonna do much there. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday will be probably about forty million. I'm gonna money on that. Uh, alrighty, here's another one going on in Richmond. Richmond seems to be the popular place uh, for good and bad. This one's about the racist. Okay, uh, this one was uh, the Asian couple. They bumped their car. It was like rubbing up. Against, they just smash into it. 
There's bigger things going on in this planet. <laughs> just, just be lucky you're not in America with, with, with Trump going on. You got, you got issues. <laughs> uh, we have a drug dealer prime minister. Uh, um, he, he's not totally finished with the, the drugs. Uh, but um, okay, in Richmond, okay, when they were the Asian couple just bumped up. Okay, the, when some people probably seen this on YouTube. Anyway, uh, actually, I'm going to dig it up and post it on Spin. Oh, and Facebook too. And um, uh, okay, so the one. She comes up to her car and she gets all bent out of shape. Call him off. Oh, I don't want to get into it. I'm just going to get bent out of shape. Um, <laughs> America is not the only one that has this problem. Oh, we got it here too. Uh, sadly, um, this one's white. Um, my good friend, Miss, Miss Ohio, she would say, you know, my, my Canuck friends... My white Canuck friends are not like that. Um, uh, okay. Sticking with, um, oh, no, no, no. Um, the spare in Richmond. Okay. I've said this many times. My good friend Jeanette, the baby in here. Oh, something like that happens. Oh, my God. The one doing it? Not just have life insurance, you might want to double, triple up on it because you're not going to be around. I'll make you disappear forever. Um, make a note of that, will you? Um, uh, okay, so, um, segments of Canucks. There's a, a bunch from this province, apparently. Oh, and I guess rest of the country, but mainly here, because it's close, they go down to Seattle. Okay, this Ken Jennings guy, group, I saw this on, the, on MSN News. Um, so he says, oh, these guys are all rude and everything. I'm like, this is a Jeopardy champion, okay? <laughs> she just saw the comments and they're like, uh, well, you know, um, there's 20,000 at that game, but, you know, um, maybe you guys don't like your economy boosted. And I'm like, okay, how about uh, all the Canucks stay away from Seattle? Oh, you can just hear, hear the people that are dependent on, okay, when the Jays come play there, they're like, oh no, all oh, that'll financially kind of hurt us. <laughs> Ken Jennings, you might want to butt it up. And, uh, okay, uh, oh, Here's a funny one. The bus stop out here. Okay, so um, I'm going to the gym. So I pass by the bus, and there's two out there, and they got all their stuff in the, the bus shelter. Like they're moving into the bus shelter. Well, they had a lot of stuff. So I walk by, and I go, oh. Not the first time I've seen it. So I, so I come back after I'm done the gym. I come back, and I see the cops and over by the shelter. I'm like, well, what's going on here? Fight, maybe? I look and I go, oh, ambulance too, oh. So I see her, but I don't see him. I'm like, no, oh, sound like he OD'd. I'm like, why do you butt it? This OD in thing. Frankly, I see somebody, I, I'm not going to help you because here's what happens. And I've said this many times. You help them, they're going to go, oh, it's okay to do it because I'm just going to get help anyway. <laughs> Never me. Uh, no, like um, I can't do that. That does not send a message to them and their buddies. No, the message is, oh, I'm just gonna get helped anyway. So it's okay to do it. <laughs> no, pe pe get the blind, get those blinders off, okay? Um, oh, oh, okay. So, so after um uh um. After I'm done, uh, what, what happened? Oh yeah, I, I had, to, had to come back and get some stuff. So, so I, I got my stuff and I, I go to leave. Now I don't see her. And I look around and I go, she's not in the ambulance. Couldn't it be. No, she was okay. And I'm like, mm. So I get walking. So I 
walk by the, the, the two cops and I hear this bang, bang, bang. And they're, when it's, the windows are getting hit and I'm, oh, she's inside. Oh, she didn't like the fact she got pulled in. <laughs> I'm like, sucks to be you. Uh, drugs do not pay. <laughs> Even when your buddy gets uh, OD in. Oh, well. And, uh, okay. Uh, st sticking with the, the druggy issue. Okay, my sister. I said to her, um, okay, you know there's going to be a next after, you know, that got legalized with the drug dealer, Prime Minister. Um, she goes, no, that's not going to happen. Well, um, hate to say it. Um, <laughs> it. It's already in the works. They're trying to decriminalize the hard stuff because, you know, there's, well, there's so many people OD in and you know, we're going to make it easier. Really? No, here... They don't like... When I talk about this stuff, because here's what I want to do. You do that, say so you got a drug problem. You go clean them out. You put them in isolation for like three months. Dry them out and go, look, you don't like the drying out thing. Don't do it. Because you're going to have it happen again. You, you want to go through that? Keep doing that phase? Because it's probably going to kill you. You survived it the first time. You, you're going to try it a second time? Oh, well. Oh, yeah, people. Oh, they, they don't like to hear that. They go, well, you know, they have there's some problems. And, you know, oh, well, that's because I haven't been where, where they've been. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned it in the frame of this and she goes, oh my god. And I says, uh, apparently they, well, okay, besides the OD, you, maybe you've been in a coma too, longer than three weeks? Really? Have you? <laughs> um, okay, so, um, the rainforest thing. Okay, I saw that on a new suit. No, and we, we take it. This is a good one. Okay, so the, the guy running the country, he says, well, see, these environmentalist guys purposely set this fire to make me look bad. Maybe. Oh, but the uh, the president says, or I mean, the environmentalist says, uh, oh, no, no, see, this this guy, he's purposely set this fire so he can sell the land and make money. Really? Oh. Oh, it's not done there. So the, on the news, at the gym, the Canadian environmentalist says, well, see, it's a natural thing with the, because, you know, the, with the, um, uh, uh, um, it's like, a, uh, what do you call it? The, um, where the, um, the forest just burns, you know, because, you know, it's a natural thing. Really? <laughs> you have two environmentalists saying two different things. <laughs> that reminds me of 9-11 and I mentioned this to the girl at the gym I says, um, do you remember 9-11? I says, oh, there's so many stories oh, the best one was the ghost plane the government sent the plane into the, the building and as soon as it got close to the building they set off some bombs and that's what made the building I'm like <laughs> I says, um like, it sounds cool, <laughs> in a way, but what about the people on the plane calling down going, hey, uh, we're, we're going to crash into the building? Well, you sunk that one pretty deep. Uh, what's, what's the other one there? Uh, uh, oh, there's so many of them. I'm like, okay, see, you make up so many stories, they're all wrong. All of them. The Brazil, all wrong. Oh, you... Somebody, I've never heard the campfire thing, or how about the um, riding riding bikes in the spark comes up, you know, nope, didn't hear those. <laughs> See, I just made up two of them right there. Like, I can make up like 20 more of them, if you, if you want. Uh, oh, okay, so we're gonna end, uh, uh, let's see, oh, we're gonna end with, uh, 
Greg Sawyer's favorite band, Rush. The worst band ever. <laughs> Rush, they suck. Oh my god, oh. My, my ears are bleeding. I, uh, I was at Roger Sawyer's uh, today and he goes, oh, he mentioned, he mentioned something, he goes, you might as well be listening to Rush. <laughs> I'm like, I said, my ears are bleeding already. Oh my god, that's terrible. Uh, okay, anyway. Hopefully this wasn't too long and uh, uh, I know my, my friend Missile has. <laughs> she gets a lot of fishy rush. Well, we laugh, we laugh about rush all the time. Especially when I post pictures of uh, Greg's art and stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> rush, okay. Uh, oh, and you, okay, you guys rock. <laughs>